Good morning. Sunday morning before Labor Day. Trying to get some onions pulled today, but we worked all day on getting some deflectors built and some odds and ends and adjustments made to the bar and worked on the trailer. So here it is. This is the final prototype of the trailer. Put these little pockets on to hold the bar. Put these legs on to hold the front end up. Put a jack stand on the tongue. And a spot for the tie downs. So, looking pretty good. This is nice. Yesterday I personally made these deflectors got them painted last night and I'm gonna put them on today I put this plastic on that goes on there and those deflect onions from getting into the rows so we have a nice clean bed of onions for the harvester Wait. Yeah. You ready to get to work? Mm -hmm. When? Right now? Okay, let's go. Get to work. Show me what you do for work. Oh my god, wait. Look at this. Mm -hmm. What the heck is that from? The poop. That is a giant poop. Is that from you? No. It's that. a the dog a poop in the shop. And a crush the shop. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hey, Gucci, let's get to work. Yesterday, I put these on, made that, put these on this morning, stretched these fingers narrower, made those, so we'll see how she does. Pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna run with the bar. It'll come back, I promise. Until then, it's a little overcast today. The tops have some dead leaves, which when it's overcast and damp, it's like trying to cut rope. And it's just a little tough. So, actually doing better than I expected it's something you haven't heard me say a lot lately but take a look at the onion crop that we got here see that leaves are dying back on that one the roots are pretty much done but that's kind of onion we're looking at Nice red cooking onion. You can use them for your salads too, but I cook breakfast with them. It's not just for one thing. It's a multi-purpose tool. Beautiful crop here. Yeah. Real nice. This crop is really looking good this uh this farm in particular was farmed 
by a grain farmer for about six years and out of those six years I think they only got like three crops off it um, and then they sold it to us we gave it a makeover retiled it put a lift system in and it's been a really good farm since so a lot of years without onions so it's that's pretty good so pretty soon we'll have to rotate it in a couple of, we'll probably get try to get two or three more growing seasons out of it just to get it in the rotation and keep it looking like it looks now because this is amazing our market is usually a two and a quarter to a three inch size onion and these are all not that so it just makes them a little tougher to sell you do get more money for the larger stuff but the demand isn't as high bars turning around at the end of the field coming back and we'll take another look at it Under the ground, you're falling pretty deep. That's right where it needs to be. I wish we could put these coulters down a hair. I think we're good. Yeah. beautiful day to pull onions so when it's hot and sunny it's just the sun's too intense for that tender tissue that we're pulling up out of the ground and you can get a sun scald on it it's basically where the sun breaks down that fresh tissue layer and dents it in end up throwing stuff away that way but we're pulling today got our scouting report end of last week and our numbers are going up for decay so we've got good size we've got good conditions it's sunday so it's time to go and that's what it takes to make sure that you don't screw things up monday rain in the forecast tuesday gonna be hot and humid so if we don't pull them today, the levels of decay are going to continue to rise and our crop will be sitting here not being pulled. When you pull them, they stop growing, the decay stops moving into the bulb and you're just, yeah, saving your ass. What'd you find? Ew, put that down. That's disgusting, right? Whatever that is. Time to move. We are finishing up the farm that we started this morning. And time to get hooked up to the trailer and get moved. And 
Rain needs to clean his camera. Good thing my eyesight's 2020-ish. Oof. Okay. It's a nice light trailer. I can move this by hand. Oh, yeah. If I had two hands. Safety first. got the tractor loaded. At the next farm, we're gonna get this unloaded, hook back up and get pulling again. some more onions I'm gonna disperse and take his truck back to the shop and get the trailer put away before it rains so that we can get it painted this week been a frustrating three days but I think that we are getting it whatever we're not getting we have a thought of an answer of what we think the issue is but it is actually running pretty good um, some adjustments that we have made was we loaded the tires on the back here we filled them with uh, beet juice so 
what that would do is just give you some actual weight on the rear when this thing's pulling down the field so that it's not walking out of the row. I think that's one of the biggest issues that we were having. Um, and just adjustments to the Coulters, getting them to line up where we want them to and how they kind of fall instead of just going off a of measurement, just playing it how it goes in the field. Um, this year we planted with RTK signal. It's very accurate and the guess row between pass to pass was very accurate. And if you are off by a little bit, then yeah, it just gets really close. It's really tight. So um, just making adjustments. So those few things, setting the sway bars, tight getting those super rigid so that there's no room for the implement to walk over and what else did we do just trying to lighten up the drag on the drive side some of that's kind of playing into it this right here is a chain case that goes down and it pushes a little bit more dirt than that side so lowered the wheel lowered the Coulter a little bit and uh, adjusted the tension on the Coulter spring just a little bit tighter just to give it a little bit more force to get this side you know just up out of the ground because this bar right here you know that's that's supposed to be just undercutting the onion as you're going down the field it's a fine line so um, a lot of fine lines to dance around here, but uh, yeah, we are, we're getting it, we're doing pretty good. So, um, just like anything new, and then you take into consideration that it's custom built, so there's real no manual on how this should go. You know, it's all off, you know, what you've done before and what it's doing at the time so yeah there's your update i hope you liked it but um halfway done with this field and it's just getting a little too damp with the dew setting in at night the tops really aren't flowing through the machine so shutting down for the night we will be back tomorrow. Goodbye. Subscribe, like, and share for more videos like this one.